Your muscle system is like a complicated mechanism where every part has its essential role. When one part breaks, wait, did you just yawn? I hope that was not a reaction to my storytelling. But I can tell you this, even something as basic as a yawn is a result of a joint effort of several muscles in the chest, diaphragm, larynx in the throat, and palate in the mouth. Muscles are soft tissues made up of many stretchy fibers. You have over 600 of them in your body, and they help you move, maintain posture, breathe, digest food, thread a needle, take selfies with your phone, and many other things. Time to have some coffee. And now that you're reaching for your cup, you're engaging several groups of muscles. Let's see how it works on the inside. First of all, we have the muscles in your arm, like the biceps. The elbow needs to bend, and the biceps help with that. And there are also some backup helpers. In your case, the triceps on the opposite side of the arm. They relax and lengthen to make the bending happen, just like this. To keep the movement smooth and controlled, you need to engage the stabilizer muscles. The rotator cuff in your shoulder can help with that. It will keep your joint steady and won't let it wobble as you're reaching for the cup. And that's still not all. The muscles in your forearm help the biceps in flexing the wrist, making sure your hand reaches the cup just right. You can finally enjoy your drink now. There are three types of muscles in your body, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Skeletal muscles are attached to your bones by tendons. Those are cords made of tough tissue. Skeletal muscles are responsible for voluntary movements. They're the only type of muscles you can control to set specific areas of your body in motion. For example, when you contract a skeletal muscle, you can move your limbs or run and lift weights. This type of muscle makes up 40 to 50% of your total body weight. Smooth muscles populate various organs and systems throughout your body. They line the walls of organs in the digestive system, respiratory system, cardiovascular system, reproductive system, and more. They have a smooth, non-striped appearance, hence the name smooth muscle. You cannot consciously control their movements. Each smooth muscle cell is rounded at the center and tapered at the sides. They are connected to other neighboring cells, and they form a mesh-like network that allows them to contract in symphony. Thanks to this coordinated movement, some important processes in your body work smoothly. I'm talking about processes like digestion, breathing, and blood circulation. So it's a big deal. Cardiac muscles are pretty picky when it comes to accommodation. They only reside in the heart, and there's just one cardiac muscle per human. Its other name is the myocardium. The cardiac muscle looks a lot like the skeletal muscles. It has long, thin, parallel streaks. But unlike skeletal muscles, this guy is uncontrollable. I mean, it works all the time without you making any effort. The thick muscles of the heart contract to pump the vital fluid out, and then relax to let it back in after it has run through the body. If your muscles were to compete in the Muscle Olympics, you'd see some champions among them. The title of the largest muscle belongs to the gluteus maximus. It's the main extensor muscle of the hip. Its job is to support your trunk and keep your posture under control. Thanks to it, you can walk upstairs. The smallest muscle in your body is cozily located in your inner ear. It connects to your eardrum and stabilizes the smallest bone in the body, which is also here, inside your ear. The medal for being the strongest muscle goes to the mass sitter. This little guy is the muscle in your jaw. But don't let the size trick you. It can close your teeth with a force of 200 pounds on your molars. The biggest workaholic among your muscles is the heart. And yes, your heart is a muscle and an organ at the same time. A muscular organ, that is. It pumps about two and a half thousand gallons of blood per day. The tongue is another hard worker in your system. It's made up of muscle groups and never takes a day or even a minute off, just like the heart. It helps you mix up food and speak, it filters out germs, and even when you're sleeping, it keeps pushing saliva down the throat. Nearly 85% of all the heat generated in your body is a result of your muscles contracting. When you feel cold, your muscles automatically contract. That's why you start shivering. It's your body's way of using muscles to generate heat and warm you up. Your muscles work together, performing different movements. They do it in pairs. When one shortens, its partner lengthens. It's like when you're doing bicep curls. When you curl your arm up so the bicep gets shorter, the tricep on the other side of your arm straightens out. When you bend your arm at the elbow, you're performing flexion. It's the movement that decreases the angle between two body parts. 
Extension is the opposite of flexion. It increases the angle between two body parts, like when you're straightening your arm after bending it. Abduction is when you move a body part away from the midline of your body. Raise your arm out to the side. That's abduction. When you turn your head from side to side, you're doing a rotation. Contraction is the shortening and tightening of a muscle. When a muscle contracts, it pulls on the bones it's attached to, resulting in movement. When you bend your knee, the muscles in your thigh contract to bring your lower leg closer to your thigh. And now my personal favorite, relaxation. A muscle returns to its resting state after contracting. It seems like they're capable of anything, but muscles can't push. So even when the door says push, and you're pretty sure you're doing it, your muscles are pulling your elbow and shoulder against the door. Muscles have the superpower of viscoelasticity. It means they act like a combination of a fluid and an elastic material when they are stretched or compressed. When you push or pull on a muscle, it can resist the change in shape like a thick liquid, viscous, or bounce back to its original shape like a rubber band, elastic. The way muscles respond to forces depends on how fast those forces are applied. If you stretch or compress a muscle quickly, it makes the muscle stiffer compared to a slower stretch. You can mostly see this show in passive muscles. The motor cortex, an area of the frontal lobe, on one side of your brain is responsible for controlling the muscles on the opposite side of your body. So the right side controls the movement of muscles on your left side and vice versa. To make muscle movement happen, the brain sends signals through the spinal cord and into the peripheral nervous system, which connects to your muscles. This communication pathway allows your brain to control and coordinate movements throughout your body. When it comes to more complex activities, where whole groups of muscles need to work hard, like shooting a jump shot in basketball, the messages sent from the brain become more complex. The brain has to activate a series of instructions to engage various muscles and achieve the desired movement. Before you pack your gym bag to work on your muscles like there's no tomorrow, hold on a sec. These little guys enjoy bedtime probably even more than you do. When you enter deep sleep, your hardworking muscles get the opportunity to relax. Your blood circulation improves and the hormones that help repair and restore tissues go out to play. So don't cancel your gym appointment, but don't forget that some good and sound sleep is what really lets your muscles rejuvenate and expand. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.